how you have been indoctrinated into supporting democracy. It is well known that the party that wins wars is the one that gets to write history its own way. Politicians from all over the world have adhered to the slogan to defend democracy. From Kim Jong-un, as a democratically elected leader, to Putin and Biden, all repeat the word democracy as a mantra, but is it really in your best interest to support democracy? You would be very surprised at the history of the word democracy. Let's see what one of the most important figures in ancient Greece, where democracy developed, has to say about it. Aristotle. Aristotle classified the types of governments in six categories. Three or them were good, and three of them were evil. Democracy must be on the good side you may be thinking, at least that is what you have been told all your life, right? Wrong. Democracy is on the category of evil governments as categorized by Aristotle. Keep on watching to find out more. The three good types of governments as defined by Aristotle are when the leader or leaders work for the good of the people. These are monarchy, if there is one leader, aristocracy, if there is a few leaders, and polity, if there are many leaders. On the other hand, the evil governments are when the leader or leaders exploit the people for their own benefit. When there is one leader, it is called dictatorship. If it's a few leaders, it's called oligarchy, and if it's many leaders, it is called democracy. This is how subtly, yet constantly, and by means of repetition, we have been indoctrinated to support democracy. Now that you know what democracy means, if it's still the form of government of your choice, you are free to support it. However, if you want good forms of governments, you may consider a monarchy, aristocracy, or even a polity.